Hi, welcome to the USDA Agricultural Research Service Pollinating Insects Research Unit on the campus of Utah State University. This facility is fondly known as the Logan Bee Lab. The mission of this research unit is to perform agriculturally related research on all bees, not just honeybees. In particular, we study the biology and management of alfalfa leaf cutting bees, blue orchard bees, and western species of bumblebees. In addition, we also study the biology and systematics of all types of bees from the United States and from around the world. My primary work is on the alfalfa leaf cutting bee and the blue orchard bee. In the following presentation, I'd like to introduce you to the blue orchard bee, Osmia lignaria, and highlight the reasons you may be interested in having them nest and pollinate in your backyard, in garden areas, or in commercial production orchards. Why might you be interested in the blue orchard bees as managed pollinators? First, let me tell you a little more about these bees. They are in the family Megachylidae, and their scientific name is Osmia lignaria. Related bee species, Osmia bicornis and Osmia cornifrons are raised for commercial fruit production in Europe and Asia. Osmia cornifrons also was imported into the U.S. in the 1980s and has been reproducing in the Northeast and some Midwestern and Western states. Here's the life cycle of the blue orchard bee. Over the winter, the adults are in cocoons where they stay for at least 180 days to ensure that in the spring they will emerge quickly and synchronously. They emerge, mate, and forage out in orchards or backyards or wherever they find flowering plants. They build their nest by starting with a mud plug at the back of the nest, adding nectar and pollen, and then laying an egg. Then they seal the nest cell. After the nest cell is sealed, the mother bee never visits her baby bees again. The larva that develops from the egg continues to go through developmental stages until it becomes a prepupa, which is a large larva that spins a cocoon. And this happens during the summer. That prepupa then develops to a pupa and then later into an adult. And this is still during the summer. But by late fall and early winter, the bees are ready to go back into cold storage either naturally or through management. The reasons that blue orchard bees are effective at pollinating spring crops is because they like to fly in the cool weather and they will fly at temperatures lower than honeybees do. They also collect the pollen from the flowers and place it onto the abdomen, which is kind of the bee belly, where specialized hairs are located. This contrasts to a honeybee that collects the pollen on her legs. And she also collects this pollen with bee spit that she adds so that it's really sticky and stays on her legs. The blue orchard bee collects this pollen dry and is able to deliver the pollen from flower to flower more efficiently. The bee's behavior also differ. The blue orchard bee moves between rows of trees and amongst flowers more so than the honeybee. These pictures show you the blue orchard bee visiting flowers and moving about at its nest site, showing how the pollen is quite loose and also can be moved across the face of flowers where the reproductive parts are located. Blue orchard bees are highly efficient for pollinating spring crops, such as almonds, cherries, apples, and raspberries, all of which also are in the rosaceous family of plants. To pollinate almonds, the pollen needs to move across varieties in orchards. So orchards are usually established so that the main crop, such as nonpareil almonds in this picture, is bordered by two other varieties of almonds, here Monterey and Padre. So pollen has to move from other rows into the nonpareil to pollinate the nonpareil. So when honeybees visit the trees, they normally stay within a row or within a tree, such that they're not usually moving pollen between rows. But blue orchard bees have more erratic behavior 
and seemed to zoom all across the orchard, moving pollen across rows. So whether you're thinking about blue orchard bees for visiting flowers in your backyard or want them to be pollinators for large orchards, we hope that this video has helped you to understand why you should choose and to try blue orchard bees. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. For more details on blue orchard bees and how to manage them, look to the World Wide Web for other great content, including productions that we created through the collaboration of USDA ARS and Utah State University. Uh -huh.